is your ego getting in the way of your job search? Hi, I'm Andrew McCaskill, founder at Executive Career Jump, and I want to talk to you today about your ego getting in the way of your job search. It's driving me crazy at the moment. I see so many senior job seekers letting their ego rear up and get completely in the way of their progress. It's like there's almost two sides to the scale. Some leaders hit the job market and they lose confidence and they go into their own shell and they almost withdraw. But at the other end, you've got people whose egos are completely out of control. And this is why it hurts you. It hurts you in so many different ways. But here's the main reason. You do not interview well when your ego is on the table. You just don't. It'll come through in your answers, you'll come across as non-authentic, and probably not the type of leader that they'd want in the boardroom with them. But the other reason as well is that ego gets in the way of you asking for help. And if you don't ask for help, you're missing out on opportunities. So make it clear that you're available. Now, how do you remove your ego from your job search? It's not simple because it does rear up when you're in transition. But here's one way you can do it and where you can completely reframe how you go about it. And that is to treat it like a business problem rather than a personal problem. So take the emotion out of it. Analyze it using your business skills, have a go-to-market strategy, and run your job search like a project. That'll keep your ego under control and give you the better results. So if you think that a coach or a community of other leaders who are on the move might be able to help you with your ego management, head on over to our website at www.execcareerjump.com. Let's get to work.